into Shen nowadays. Okay, it was going to be the Lilia. They uh, they rotate here for the solo lane Lilia. And this one is uh, next couple minions and gets level two. Then he could do a gank setup. Off the melee, gets it. There it is. Level two for Broken Blade and Spika and Licorice all. Broken Blade looking for that taunt here. Licorice will try to kite around to the best of his ability, but that kiting not doing the job here, and it's first blood over to TS. The uncontested, so Cloud9 will get themselves this first objective of the game. Niski even hanging out on the bottom side of the river here just to make sure to go after the dragon here. Enchanted Crystal Arrow fired out, finds its way onto Blabber. Biofrost going in, Stand United also going to show up. Blabber with a secure onto the Drake, but now he's likely going to die here. Vulcan with the save, getting Zven away. Bjergsen and Niski into a 1v1 off to the side of the fight, but it's already going to turn into an absolute mess. Niski grabbing the kill onto Double and Biofrost. Now going to be in some trouble. Niski's making it a double. Good golly, Miss Molly. Blabber's grabbing the kill onto Bjergsen now as well. Broken Blade and Spika are back into the Cloud9 jungle. Blast Cone's gonna stop Spika as he tries to make his way out, but now Sven's also gonna be in a bit of a bad spot. Vulcan with another clutch save here in this fight. Blabber chasing him down. Ninja versus a shotgun. Which oh. one's gonna win? Put my money on the bullets, baby. Blabber with one more of the point blank range and T. Devour comes up. Vulcan saves Sven two times in that fight yeah. with two devours. That was such good play from Vulcan's top catch as Licorice tries to survive 1v3 underneath the tier one turret in the bottom lane while yeah. Ben and Vulcan in the top side here on the tier one trying to get as much plate money as they can. Plates will fall here in three, two, one, and the turret is hit. Yeah, it's pretty funny because Vulcan and Blabber both working on this Rift. Harold Nisky also hanging around nearby. You can see he steals at all. Spika hanging around the backside of the Drake pit here. Blabber still trying to put the damage onto the Drake. They see the control ward in the pit. They know that TSM is aware. Spika over the wall. Sonic Wave, where's the resonating strike? Blabber looking to fight for it. Stolen away by Spika. Make sure that Cloud9 is not able to keep stacking for that soul. However, C9 is now looking to make the fight go all the way. Bjergsen in some trouble. Niski on a killing spree. Two dead on TSM. C9 lose the Drake, but win the fight. Blabber now continuing to play aggressively. Posture forward, flash, taunt, damage coming through. But Vulcan is once again right there. The Devourers bring him up to... Then though, with the snare landing on him from Sven, they lock up that kill. And Cloud9 wants more Before out of the dragon fight. And it looks like even though Shelly was stopped right at the doorstep, C9 <laughs> still able to finish opponents. Just fishing for a lot of extra burn Ooh. damage and possible sleeps. He got one. Gone fishing, baby. Here comes the chain CC. Goodbye to Ooh. speak a good bye to TSM. Double kill, but there's... Talk about a high value single spell usage there. He gets the proc on them, immediately procs the sleep afterwards, doesn't hesitate on using his ultimate. And man, Cloud9, they get the Baron, they can reset. TSM at least going after this Drake for themselves. Should be able to find it, and now some nice chain CC coming down from them, managing to get a return kill here. With Licorice already out of the picture, TSM have themselves a numbers advantage, or at least they would if Spika wasn't already gone here too. Turret summoned up by Bjergsen. Carries at low HP on the When Lilia is off the map, can be very dangerous. Swirl seeds just rolling at you from a million. It's Licorice and Niski here in the mid lane, but TSM are looking for an opportunity here. Niski very slippery, but Licorice can't say the same. Double up is under pressure. Niski's going into the back line, has to flash away. Niski in some trouble. Licorice able to find the kill on to speak of a double up with the shutdown on to Niski is huge. Double up barely walks away. He's got 20 HP. Cloud9 end up trading one for two, nearly a one for three. Biofrost and Spika out of the picture. Double if having to heal up now. C9 on the mid lane push. Yeah, and with Baron Buff, that means C9 are going to get inside the base here, right through turret number two, right onto the inhibitor turret afterwards. Snare does land, but it just needs a little bit of damage. Yeah, has stolen these before. Cloud9 has to be ready for that possibility. Sonic Wave over the wall. Resonating Strike could come in now. Speak could come through, and it's Doublelift who takes the Drake. It's three in a row now for TSM. Spika's dead first here in the fight. Niski coming in on the side. Blabber is dominating. TSM evaporating. Oh and Cloud9 Goodness. will slaughter their entire roster. Blabber is just dumping out damage on this Graves. I am just, this is gonna be the game. This, this guy is absolutely insane. The dragon does go over. 
but he's fine taking the Dragon lives of TSM instead. Dragon for Nexus is not the good <laughs> trade to make in League of Legends. Biofrost and Spica are up in a couple seconds each. Nexus turrets already falling here. Nexus is vulnerable. Cloud9 is not messing around. They are not patent stats, but they are grabbing their first win here in this series. Tying us up, one and one.